Hey guys, so I've got the TK one zero two GPS tracker out here, and and this indicates uses the SIM card to get mobile. To signals. locate this tracker, and there are two ways. Track it's one is using location. SMS, and one is so the other one is as you can see the green light is blinking. So first, you're going to be using the SMS mode, and this indicates so I have a phone that the tracker here. is on. And to locate this tracker, there are two a message ways. To the GPS. One is using SMS. Saying and one is the S other one is MS using online services and your password. In so this first case, you're going to be using the SMS mode. Four five six. So I have a phone here. There we go. And you just need to send a message to the GPS saying we'll get back a message S to MS and your password. In this case, it's just one two three four five six. There we go. Taking some time to arrive. Message is going. As you can see, I got back an SMS. SMS OK. Now we can just go ahead and call the GPS. Voice call. So the ring goes. And we get a busy tone there. Let's just go ahead and see. It will send back its coordinates now. There we can see. If your GPS tracker is not getting sufficient signals, it will send you the last time it was located. So currently it sent the last location with a Google Maps link. Let's just click on that. And it will show me where the device is. Let's just let it load. Yep, there we go. It's just loading and showing where it is. It's pretty much it. You can even check its status by sending check one, two, three, four, five, six, and it'll tell how much of its battery is left and so on. Just taking some time. There we go. It shows GSM 100%, GPS OK, and battery at 66%. Now, its battery can last as long as four days, depending on how often you use it. So, this is how you locate it using the SMS mode. You just need to go to this website called corvusgps.com and that's it. So to activate GPS mode, all you need to do is send a text GPRS, we'll just cancel that, a GPRS with your password, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, press send you'll get a reply saying GPRS on now for this you'll be needing a data pack so you should have one installed let return so we get GPRS ok now we can start locating it online so here you can register if you want for a free account, but since I already have one, I'm just going to log in. So once you log in, you will come at this page. And out here, one of the options will be GPS trackers. So just click on that one. Now as you can see, I have already put mine out here but you can just register your own one by adding a new device selecting which type of device you have and so on so now let's just go ahead and locate it so as you can see it's been updated very recently not that sorry not that yep that's it and now let's see 
So it's going to open up a map and you'll be able to locate where exactly your tracker is. So there we go. You can zoom in if you like. It's Google Maps. Yep. So there we go. That pins our location. And it'll even say what type of a thing it is. It's GPS report and its speed if it's moving, its latitude, longitude, address, so on. Now this feature is pretty advanced. If you click show advanced options and I'm just going to change it from last position to time interval and say from yesterday so let's click on 11th from yesterday to today and click manual update now let's see what happens just working on it so it'll show you where exactly the GPS went so as you can see those are all the pinpoints the routes Let's just click on now this interface works way better if you use it on a laptop doesn't work so well with tablets but as you can see it shows in depth of where it went so guys thanks for watching and please comment rate and subscribe